Welcome back guys to another video. My name is Mun and I'm a medical student pursuing a career in otolaryngology. Today I wanted to talk about five apps that are absolutely essential uh, to my life as a medical student and things that can really help you survive medical school in 2023. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first app needs no introduction. I've talked about it at length on my channel and on my TikTok and Instagram. It's Notion. It is, in my opinion, the best activity tracker uh, task management tool that's available to professionals, which is what we are as medical students. We're early professionals. So you can use it to study. You can use it to keep track of tasks and deadlines. And there are so many deadlines in med school that it's almost too much to keep track of in your head. And I've found that since most of us use iPhones and iPads, the basic reminders app and the notes app just aren't enough. So I think Notion really adds that level of granularity and personal control that in my opinion is worth learning. I have a couple tutorials, of course, about this uh, software and how I use it. I've used it for step one, step two, my research year, and I plan on using it for how I uh, you know, apply to residencies, or, so for ERAS planning, and then for before that sub-internships, so for VSLOW and VSAS. The second app is GoodNotes. I think all medical students need some way to draw and keep track of like visual uh, aspects of medicine in terms of notes. In my opinion, GoodNotes is probably the best way to keep track of visual notes, import textbooks, and, and just draw diagrams. And everybody knows in biochemistry, you need to draw your cycles out. So GoodNotes is my pick for the best uh, drawing app and handwritten note-taking app. Switching focuses a little bit. Everybody knows med school can be pretty stressful. So I think something that a lot of us need and something that I've really implemented in a pretty disciplined manner is food tracking. And I know that there's negative studies about you know the impact that food tracking can have on your health, but we're early professionals. Our lives are hard, but we work harder. So I think a lot of us are in position to take control of our health. And I think a lot of us want to, but we're just, you know, stresses of med school, exams, sub-internships, all of it can get to us. And keeping track of what we're eating in terms of how many calories, the quality of those ca calories, how nutritious it is, can really make a big difference. What I've found is on the days that I just eat granola bars and study all day, my brain function is actually not optimal. Like I just feel like I'm in a fog. I feel like I'm not sharp. But when I start to cook meals and meal prep and make sure that I'm hitting my nutrient goals, at least from a macronutrient nutrient standpoint, it actually makes a big difference in my ability to function. Our brains, as we know, are big users of energy. And if we can't supply it with the proper nutrients to survive and function optimally, we just end up making bad decisions. And I've experienced this firsthand. And so I'm a big fan of food tracking and making sure that I'm hitting what I need to hit. My pick for this is Chronometer. I think Chronometer is the most accurate from the reviews I've read. And also MyFitnessPal got rid of their free barcode scanning feature, which is pretty dumb. So I switched to Chronometer a couple months ago and I've been using it daily. It's really easy to add new foods when they're missing and I really like it for tracking my food. Now the fourth app is also in this realm of mindfulness and taking care of yourself. It's Calm or some other or Headspace or whatever app you use to meditate or breathe or regulate your emotions. Med school is obviously demanding not only from an intellectual standpoint from, but from an emotional standpoint. And it takes a lot from the people that are in it. Whether this is good or bad is not really up for us to say. It's probably bad, but there's nothing we can do about it as students except for trying to take care of ourselves. If you can do like a 10 minute, five minute meditation, maybe once or twice a week, it goes a long way. I recommend implementing it in a prophylactic sense so that you aren't completely crushed when something out of your control or something bad happens when you know, you're on rotations or someone breaks up with you, uh, you know, if you're in a relationship or that kind of thing. Because meditation, I found, is not really a good treatment for bad things, but it's good to have the practice established for when bad things happen. And finally, the fifth app is Netflix or some other streaming service. There's always going to be more work to do, more to learn, more strategies to implement, more ways to be productive. But life isn't all work. Life is enjoyment. At the core of it all, we need to be doing things that we believe in. And that requires time for us to take to ourselves. Even if your hobby isn't TV, uh, you, can, you have to make time to do something that you want to do, whether it's art or just sit around and read or go to sleep and not do anything. For me, Netflix is a luxury that I only afford myself a couple times a month. But it's nice to have the subscription in my back pocket if I have a free day where I can just binge watch a TV show. My sister is a big fan of TV. She has all the subscription services, so I'm able to kind of piggyback off of that. But I do think at least one for a medical student is probably a good idea because we can't always be working. And anyone who thinks that they can is on a road to burnout. So these are my five apps. I went over the five things that I think are really essential for my life as a medical student. Hopefully you find them useful as well. We got Notion, GoodNotes, Chronometer, Calm, and some sort of subscription service or some other way to keep track of a hobby or two that you have. 
I hope this has been helpful. My name is Mun and I'm a medical student again. And if you have any questions or comments or anything else you wanna see, please leave a question below or a comment below. And if you've made it this far, please leave a like and consider subscribing. This channel is for you guys to help you guys get through medical school. And if you're pre-med, figure out whether medicine is right for you. I'm always posting about strategies and tips and tricks and things that I've found that have helped make this process more bearable. And if you guys are interested, I'm also on this journey myself and I'm hoping to take a couple of you guys with me on it. That's been it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.